547, friend circles. Uh, there are N students in the class. Some of them are friends, while some are not. Their friendship is transitive in nature. For example, if A is a direct friend of B, B is a direct friend of C, then A is an indirect friend of C. And we define a friend circle as a group of students who are direct or indirect friends. Given an N by N matrix M representing the friend relationship between students in a class, uh, if M sub I sub J is equal to 1, then I J I and J students are direct friends of each other, otherwise not. And you have to output the total number of friend circles among the, the students. Okay. Uh, seems like this is just pretty straightforward union fine. Uh, and you can maybe do stuff with transitive closure if you really want, but but I think union fine it's I mean you can also do death for search, I mean I either way. Uh, and maybe in this case it doesn't really matter. Um because you have n square, which is three square edges uh, as input, so and you have to read them all anyway. Um, yeah, let's do that for search. I feel like I've always done union fine, so. Uh, um, okay. Count zero, zero, one, ten, count. Um, um, yeah, let's go to seam. This is equal to four times, I guess. N, where N is think of M, okay. Yeah, we want to go for X and X range M. Um, is it X? If not seen X, then we go visit it. And also, one, okay. Uh, okay, and now we just go through the, uh, the edges for node and m sub code. If not seen node, uh, we visit node. Okay, mm, have to set up the scene. Okay. I guess I could have kept this in a set actually, but yeah, that's fine. I think that's roughly right, maybe. <laughs> oh, right. It's actually N, M, M. Oh no. Ooh, that's odd. Well, how did I get this one? Mm, this is very straightforward that was searched. I think I have a typo. That's four, so two, okay. Do I have to index these right? Maybe that's the only other thing, but. Oh. Oh, because this only. This, this is not right. Uh, okay. That's why. Oops. Always oh, confused it a little bit, so node and edge. Okay. Move edge is equal to one and not see node then okay. Hmm. And I think I'm confident ish, even though I had a t error earlier. Okay, cool. Uh yeah. Hmm. I mean what can you say about a 16-line code solution? I mean, I, I think this is just uh, 
not sure why this is medium actually, but maybe that's fine. Um, so the uh, complexity of this is just V plus E, because uh, you reset all the nodes and edges once. Uh, in this case, E is V square, so this is just going to be N square or V square. Um, I use O of N spe extra space. Uh, yeah, so that's fine. Or well, that's okay ish. Um, how long did I take? Well, it took like four minutes to type this. So I think this is, I mean, I think this is a way, uh, what's it called? Uh, I mean, this is a very standard problem in some way. Uh, I actually have at, been asked this before, uh, not, not this particular piece, but uh, something very similar, uh, just to find like the sets of things start to merge together. Uh, and there are typically two ways to do this. One is depth of search, which is what I did here in a very quick way. Um, the other uh, where, and sometimes, you know, you have to calculate this edge thing, uh, so it's not given to you directly, which is why this problem is a little bit on the easier side. Um, but yeah, the other one's using union find uh, or union set, union find set, or un union find, um, which is also something that comes up. Uh, there is a minor distinction between them, but, uh, but I think in general, well, if things are static, depth of search is usually fine. Um, but yeah, um, I think this is straightforward, so definitely be familiar with this. I, I mean, I've seen th this version of the problem, but a little bit harder with where you have to calculate whether an edge is an edge. Uh, but otherwise, uh, yeah, so definitely practice this up. Uh, this, I mean, this is way textbook depth of search to find like the number of groups or foot fill depth of search type thing to to find a number of uh, component connected components. So um, so yeah, so I'm, I think I'm gonna just move on from this one as a result. Uh, but definitely if y'all have questions, let me know.